Welcome. Hello? Is this thing on? Yes, it is. The meters are moving. Must be on. Welcome, one and all, to another stream live. Happy Monday. <laughs> Should have seen that one coming. <laughs> Thank you for the host. Gangrel. I'm sorry I had to do the blasphemous move of pausing the Last Ninja 2 soundtrack. We got things to do. We got to get this show on the road here. So welcome. Welcome. Ah! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Briar Cub, welcome. Thank you for the 10 months of support. Absolutely unfathomable. <laughs> I appreciate it very much. And even more... I got the best emote. I got the best pride emote. It it's perfect. It's a perfect day. <laughs> we plus we get to play some more Tusker. We get to play some more Tusker. <laughs> Tusker. Welcome, Briar Cub. Thank you. So I took the weekend off. Had some things to do. Some other stuff I was working on. I got absorbed into a book that I read. Took the weekend off. You know sometimes. This might be blasphemous to say out loud. This is the second time I've used that word today on stream. This might be sacrilege to say out loud on Twitch. Sometimes you gotta take a short break from video games. You can't 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 play video games 30, 40 hours a week every week. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta take a do some other stuff to kind of rejuvenate your soul. So I read a book this weekend. I'm really excited about it. It's actually a video game related book in in a strange sense it's one i've been wanting to read for a long time i absolutely got absorbed into it um i've i've also been working on some other stuff i got a scanner set up you can't see it here you might be able to hear me tapping on it i got a scanner set up and I've been working on scanning like a couple manuals in that I have that I can't find online. And that's a bit of a learning curve. It's a bit of a time consuming process because like this one, for example, is 56 pages long. It takes a while to scan all that crap in. <laughs> I've been working on that too. Uh, I got some stuff around. Yeah, I've been projects, tasks, if you will. Abracadabra Criminal. Ooh, yeah, you actually Briar Cub. That is the correct book. Uh, the book I read was called Name of the Rose by Umberto Eco. Or released in 1980. It's like 520 pages long. It's a very excellent book set in medieval times about an abbey of monks. And there's a murders going on in the abbey. And the delegates delegates from like the Pope and the Emperor are convening in this abbey to have debates based on the Catholic religion and like debating the poverty of Christ and whether or not the church should own property, whether Christ owned his robes or anything like that. And while these debates are going on, there's murders happening at the same time. And it's really, it's really cool. I really like the book. Like I said, it totally absorbed me. I read, I didn't read the whole thing in one sitting, obviously it's like a 500 page book, but I've been reading it slowly but surely over the course of the past couple of weeks and this weekend, I really dove into it. And then, yes, there's a movie version as well with Sean Connery. It's got Ron, Ron Perlman. Yeah, Ron Perlman. It's got F. F. Murray Abraham. A couple people like that. A couple of cool actors. I, I watched the movie because I, I have to do it after reading the book. And the movie's good. The movie cuts out a whole ton of stuff as expected, but, you know, it's, it's still good. Christian Slater, that's correct, yeah. Welcome, everybody that's come in. Internet friend, your mom, Dr. CDCS. Good to see everybody. Yeah, I really like the book. The main reason I got the book... <laughs> is to do research not really research but because i really want to play the game based on the book there's a spanish msx game titled la abadia del crimen crimen i can't i don't speak spanish but that's what it's titled 
I actually think it's originally a CPC game, not MSX. But I've I came across that game like a year ago. I was like, oh, this game looks so cool. What type of what type of video game do you play as a monk? And you have to investigate murders. And after digging into it, I realized, wait, it's based on a book. Oh, let's read this book. It's taken me a long time to actually do it. So now that I'm fully versed in the background, the lore, the history, I can actually play that game someday. Not now, though. We have bigger things. Whoop, whoop. Bigger things. That way. I forgot. I, I switched the camera. Tusker. Circuit, Circuit's Edge. Ooh, 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 ooh. I didn't know that was based on a book. I knew it was like written by an author, but that makes sense because Circuit's Edge has like a very extensive backstory in the manual. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get that one now. When Gravity Falls. Hey, Iron Zoltan, welcome. I was unaware of this. Well, can't play Circuit's Edge now. I have to read the entire Budayin cycle series of books. <laughs> I've been wanting to read Romance of the Three Kingdoms since middle school. I've never gotten my hands on a, a good copy of it. I don't know what a good copy of Romance of the, Three, of the Three Kingdoms even entails. Like, is a good copy like the 1600 page unabridged version? And I, should I spend like the next two years reading it or... I, I don't know. It's always been like a something I've been wanting to do, but not wanting to commit to doing. <laughs> <laughs> Circuit's Edge looks really cool. Info, late Infocom, like fake Infocom game. Activision Infocom. Duke Donuts, welcome. The Duke is here. I think we're about ready. I think we can play some Tusker. Uh, this game's incredible. There's a bunch of those ancient Chinese, like the four great Chinese novels that I I really want to read. It's just, there's not enough time in the day, <laughs> not enough time in, in the week, the month in life to do everything I want to do. It's, it's, it's the human condition. It's a tragedy of man. There's only so many hours in the day. Even with proper budgeting of time, there's just not enough not enough time to do everything. <laughs> if only there were more time. If only I didn't have to sleep. That pesky recharge every night cuts into important time for cool things. Welcome, Duke. Um, Tusker. We can... Extremely good podcast version. Oh, Water Margin. That's the one. Yeah, I I forget the names of like the four great novels, but oh, I'm getting, getting sidetracked here. <laughs> Here's a great novel. We could read this novel. It's Tactical Regulations Manual for Authorized Personnel Only. T TRM for short. Uh... I have like three quarters of this book scanned onto my computer. Look at this artwork. This is the manual for a video game I tend to play soon. So thank you everybody for your support, supporting the stream. I have been slowly spending my stream support money, the bits, the subscriptions, into procuring physical copies of video games that do not have all of their material available online, so I can gather this material, put it online. I feel like that's a an excellent use of my internet money. <laughs> Duke, thank you for the 100 teggles bits, teagle bits. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate it. I have another one up here. Um, uh, I just got this. Let's do a quick little peek. Look at that. Look at that. What is this? What is this? It's a mystery. Put that away. We'll come back to that someday. Someday in the future, we'll come back to that. That's just a little hidden up there. Um, 
yeah. Let's close out some windows here. We don't need that open. Don't need that open. Okay. Oh, you are welcome, your mom. I appreciate the support that I have been getting playing these awesome games. So I figure there's one way to give back to the community of retro game lovers, and that's to try and upload some more material. To see your week weekend accomplishment. Duke, what have you accomplished? I'm interested. I'm excited. Did you do Kegels? <laughs> hey, Jess Phillips. Welcome. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Duke, that's incredible. That that incredible it makes me happy to hear. I uh, someday, someday I'll be able to do deadlifts again. It will be a joyous day. <laughs> it will be a joyous day. Man, I miss deadlifts. Deadlifts are so fun. Oh, it's like the single heaviest lift you can do in the gym. It's so satisfying. I can't wait. I'll get back there. The big dude milestone. Yes. Man, I was right before the whole shutdown and the gym stopped. I had just started a, I think it was a nine week program or either a nine week or a 12 week program, which was geared towards ramping up to a one rep max for all the big four lifts i was really excited about it because i haven't done any one rep maxes since high school so I was, oh, I was really stoked and then put the kibosh on that um well uh my goal was about double that duke for my one rep that was my goal i was going to shoot for five plates I think I could have done it. Now I'm going to have to rebuild. It'll take me a little while, but I could get back there. I don't have my phone here. I tracked all my workout, all my weights and everything, and it's on my phone. I, I don't remember what I got up to. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. I don't... like. Gang girl, I only understand freedom units. I, I, I'm sorry, I can't do math in my head. Only freedom. Only freedom in my head. We're going to play Tusker. To boot it up. <laughs> stone. So I have to start tracking in stone. Yes. Stone's like, what, 18? 18 stone to a pound or something weird like that? I can't do it. I can't do math in my head. It's Actually, I can, but I choose not to. <clears throat> 14, okay, see? I'd have been wrong. Tusker. So I played this game, gosh, it was last Wednesday, almost a week ago now. <laughs> I played this game last Wednesday for, what's that say, 2 hours, 18 minutes. We made it to the third stage. I think the third stage, I don't think the Amiga version has like specified stages in this game. But we went from the desert to the forest, more like a jungle, desert to the jungle to the tr village. The village is large, it is expansive, there is lots of stuff that kill you, and uh, I died there. So the first goal today will be to get back to this village, 
without losing any lives. Second goal will be to figure out what in the crap we do there. Five kilograms to 40 stone lift. And then you can only increase by one stone at a time. <laughs> Bush. <laughs> I used to have that album. Holy cow. I haven't thought about Bush in a number of years. The band. The band. Don't take me the wrong way. The band. The Canadian band, I think. I'm gonna have to dig that album up and listen to it again. That's the one that has like their only three songs. Oh, they're British. Oh. I don't know why I thought they were Canadian. Yeah, that's the album that has their only three songs that you ever hear on the radio. You get Come Down, you get Machine Head, and maybe they only have two songs on the radio. <laughs> I don't recall. It's been so long since I've thought about them. All right, let's resume the timer. Let's play some Tusker. Glycerin, that's the third song. Yeah, I knew there was three songs. Um, I forgot how to play this game. What buttons do I press? How does this work? Oh, judo kick! Okay, we got the gun. I think I remember how this works. Yep, it's all coming back to me in a flash. So here's the snakes. Got to juke around the snakes. You can't kick snakes. Pick up the matches. Run away. Okay. Tornado. Tornado might get me. We have to just dodge. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, 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 oh. We have a evil man reverse skeleton-ing. Shoot that guy. I don't remember what this is. Oh, that's the water. This screen you have to just stutter step across because if you go too fast, enormous hand appears and it gives you the squeeze. Yeah, the C64 version of this looked really cool. It's very different too. Like they changed quite a bit when they ported it to the Amiga, the ST. Uh, that's some ammunition, tumbleweed. Ba, ba, ba. All right, here's the tent. So you gotta lure this guy out. Give him the bam. Pick up the knife. Um, let me think what I need to do here. The next screen has the invincible guards. So my strategy has been to pull them up here. Nope, 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 nope. Come. Okay. And then come around down here. Oh, this isn't gonna work. Oh, we need to go. Go, 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 go. Okay. Now it's a short little boss rush sort of thing. We gotta kill three guys to get the poison. Get some ammunition. Oh, no. Don't, don't bother with them. They're invincible. Okay. Into the dark caves. Uh, torch match. This is the coolest puzzle in the world. There's a mysterious box here. How does one open mysterious boxes? Naturally, you use your mysterious key. Mysterious key, known as gun. <laughs> yes. Uh, get rid of the gun. Then you punch the box to grab the book from out of it. I can use the torch to light up the cave here. However, doing so causes these bats to just rapid fire at you and give you the generation damage. So we want to avoid using the torch here. And there's a specific path we have to follow through the water here. It's all coming back to me. It's like I just played this yesterday, but I didn't. 
Okay, we followed the path. Now we just hold right. <laughs> I got a pile of turds. Got to pick those up. Use the book. Do beat about the bush for the passage key. Got the machete. Uh, I need to switch to dagger. And now it's on to the next stage, but we want to refill our water first. There we go. And we can't refill our water in this enormous lake here. We have to stab a cactus to refill our water. So we go back out into the desert. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Avoid. <sighs> Perfect. Gotta stand in the exact perfect spot. Stab the cactus. There we go. Drinking that cactus juice. And here you can just farm infinite score. So the game's actually secretly garbage. <laughs> I say that in total jest. This game rules. Um, what do I want to do now? Put the oh, I need the machete out. We've got to hack through some bushes. <laughs> Hack through the bush. Hack. Go. Okay, that's stage one. Whew. Insert disc two. I forgot about this. First time I made it to this stage, I didn't have disc two. And you actually need to use disc two. It, it's not lying. <laughs> An Atari 5200 Saturday. Oh, congrats. I have never seen... I don't think I've ever even seen a 5200. Maybe at like a retro game store, like behind a counter somewhere. I don't believe I've ever... I definitely have never played one. That's pretty cool. All right, so switch the gun immediately, shoot the natives, skeleton them. Skeleton him, skeleton. Okay, got him. Pick up some more ammunition. We are full ammo. Okay, darts, darts coming at me, hot and heavy. Next screen's got a monkey. He's gonna fling a turd at me, so we have to dodge the turd. Oh, big dudes. Run past the big dudes. Shoot this big dude. Turn him into a little skeleton. I've never used this item here. This is a medallion. I don't know what it's for. So now we go to the next screen. Next screen's got another monkey turd. So you gotta do this kind of maneuver. Ooh. Okay. Big dude and enormous slug monster. To combat the enormous slug monster, we don't do anything offensive. We free him. We hold the acid on the left slot, get right here, and melt his chains. There we go. <laughs> on to stage three? Maybe this is actually stage two. I don't know. I don't know. So this this is the stage I've never been able to clear. I've only made it to the stage like twice. Okay, new music. We get swarmed immediately, so we blast him. Um, can't go to the right. We gotta go left first. Blast. Give him the give him the business. Boom, business. Now there's, you can't see it. It's impossible to see, but there's a stick hidden here. So we gotta pick up this stick without getting bitten by the evil plants. There we go. <laughs> okay, give these guys the business, as they say in the biz. Boom. Plug them. Can I, I think I can enter this hut here. Oh, I got chomped. Yes. Got some more ammunition. This is the magic stick, so I don't want to use magic, so I pick it up and switch off of it because it consumes my magic meter. Uh, what's to the left here? This is another room you gotta stutter step through, otherwise you get 
squeezed by the hand. Oh, that's right, there's turds here. Pterodactyl just wants to say what's up. I don't want to say what's up back. Drink some water. Perfect. Stutter, stutter step. Put gun on. Okay, gun is on. Go all the way down. This music is so good. Okay, the key that I picked up does not open the gate. The key opens up a gate on the far right edge of the map. One more screen to the right of this, though, is the rapid fire machine gun spear thrower. So, to make it past him, we have to equip the uh, magic stick. So, that's the letter J is my hotkey. So, we gotta get ready for this. J. Okay, switch out, switch out. That drains my magic while it's up. Now, I don't really remember much here. I don't know if I need to stutter step or not, but we have to walk past this door. Oh, yep, yep, got a stutter. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Ugh, almost got poked by a pterodactyl. Uh, put the key in the hand. Punch the door. We get another turd. Ammunition in key number two. Let's refill our water while here. There we go. Oh, that's the sound of pterodactyl. Okay, fine. Um, do I punch it? Nope, nope, not cool. Don't I have to just stand, like, right here? Oh, there we go. Okay. Pixel perfect. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So now we can go into the village, and the village is where I got stuck last time. Hey, Stuck Thread, welcome. Also, hello, G, if I didn't say it before. I don't think I did. Welcome. This music is so good. Equip the key, punch the gate open, punch the gate. Did that? Did the gate? It made the noise like it should be open, but it didn't open. And now I don't have a key anymore. It consumed my key, made the sound, and, and now I don't have a key. Oh no. I think I might be, I think I might be soft locked. I'll go back to the cave to see if another key has appeared, but I don't think another key will appear. I don't think items respawn if you die either. I think this is just bad. Key? Oh. We're out of luck here. <laughs> MP83. Thank you for the host. It does feel like just yesterday. When, in fact, it was Wednesday. Yesterday was not a Wednesday. Um. We gotta. We gotta restart. It's a shame. It's a travesty. 
I'm gonna die to the hand to see if maybe that will cause something to happen. Oh! It wasn't even a hand! It was a giant Yeti that jumped up and kicked us! I've never seen that before. Okay, we're alive. He did not respawn. Let me check the gate to see if now suddenly the gates open. If not, I'm afraid we are forced to reset. My weekend was great, MP. Thank you for asking. I spent many hours reading a book. It was perfect. Ow, oh, we're stuck. We gotta reset. <laughs> That's a shame. So let's let's die to the enormous Yeti, because that's really cool. I wonder if I can get a good view of him right here. <laughs> oh! Does he kick on one side and punch on the other? Just bop. Just gives you a little bop. on the left and punches on the right. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yes! Alright, we'll lose our final life to Pterodactyl. Oh, I, I can empathize with you there, MP. It is... Um, I believe the technical term would be hot as balls currently where I live. And so, I have an enormous fan right there, but it's just off. I must suffer. I must suffer. It's not that bad. It's not that hot. <laughs> I can easily survive without having a fan blowing right into the microphone. Just gotta drink lots of water. switch discs all right well that was a that was a warm-up run let's put it that way that was a false start into a warm-up run i hope the key doesn't break again only one way to find out yeah d rust i did everything perfectly but the key disappeared it, i couldn't actually use the key i tried to use the key and it just didn't even get used just disappeared. <laughs> yeah, I use my fan primarily as like a white noise generator for when I go to sleep. It works tremendously for that. I fall asleep much faster, even if it's not hot. I have the fan on it. Just the noise makes me fall asleep. It's, it's perfect. Invincible. Made it through the snakes unharmed. Oh, tornado, tornado. Please. Going for it. Mm. Oh, okay. Stutter step, stutter step. Mm. Boom. Stutter step through this screen. Ammunition, perfect. I'm really hoping we can f finish old Tusker today. That'd be my ideal stream. We can get Tusker finished today. And then uh, tomorrow come back with a brand new game a brand new old game oh, okay um i don't like this 
Ooh, that was perfect. That was ideal. Juked the crap out of both of those guys. I think I know which game's gonna be next. There's been a couple I've been really debating between. I haven't fully made up my mind yet. So I might dive into some Silmarils jank after this game. I'm not sure yet. I'm not certain. Don't hold me to that, but I might. I do want to play the C64 version of this game, especially after I saw Duke play it a little bit. It looks really cool. It's very different from this one. It's different enough to absolutely warrant a separate playthrough. But I don't know when. I'll just have to add it. <laughs> just have to add it to the list. The enormous list of games. Uh, let's equip machete. Get the jug in the other hand. There we go. Okay, now we have to stab a cactus real quick. Good. I've taken one damage? This is unheard of. Oh no, not machete. Uh, dag. One damage, one hit through the entire stage. That was impeccable. Stage two. <laughs> I, I, I feel you there, G, except my problem is I want to play like all games. Modern, retro, just play them all. Well, I shouldn't say all games. I'm, obviously, there's a style of game I prefer. In fact, I've had my eye on... Ooh, watch out for the big dudes. Oh, I got enormously punched. I've had my eye on... There's this brand new King's Quest fan game that's supposed to be releasing this weekend. I'm probably going to stream that on Saturday or Sunday. Okay, let's do this. Avoid the turds. Perfect. Switch to the acid. Okay, I'm, I'm still alive. That's fine. The itch bundle. <laughs> Itch.io, the itch.io bundle. The endless bundle of games. It's a lot of games there. It's a lot of games. I'm sure some of them are games. Some of them are actual legitimate games. That would be fun. I, I, for some reason I passed on that bundle, probably because I'd be overwhelmed. Oh boy, okay. This is, this is fine. Plug these dudes. Get plugged. Enter this hut. Ammunition. Stick. Switch off the stick. Okay. Key one. Key one has not disappeared yet. This is a very good start. So we move left. 
the do I have a hotkey for the water jug? I have a hotkey or a hotkey for dag for ammo flask? Oh I do. F, of course. Full water. Pick up the turds. Avoid the Yeti. Okay, um... Get the gun ready. What was the magic stick again? J, of course. J stands for stick. Ba -ba 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 -ba. J. This guy good old plugging. And get rid of the stick. Perfect. Ba -do 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 Watch out for the Yeti. Equip the key, switch off the gun, punch the door. Okay, so it used the key that time. But the door actually opened. So last time I tried to use key number two and it just didn't work. It consumed my key but didn't actually open the door I was trying to open! Okay. Give me some of this water. Thank you. Yeah, the stick. I think that's how it's pronounced. Might be German. So let's try this again. Key two. Punch the door here. Punch the door here. Punch the door here. Punch here. Punch here. Punch here. Punch here. Oh, I'm nervous. Uh, punch here. it again it, it consumed my my keys gone this gate's supposed to be open is what you heard you heard the gate opening you heard the sound effect for the gate opening but the gate didn't actually open can't go in this hut. This hut's only an escape from the village. <laughs> game over! I hadn't even died yet and I got the game over. I've had that glitch happen before. Where you just lose all your lives. Oh, this is a little distressing. Um... It's time to do the old check the VOD strategy to see exactly where I stood last time. So bear with me one moment. I'm going to pull up my old VOD. Tusker. Tusker VOD. Tusker. Watch this video. Uh, do I have a... Capture, no, we'll watch it together. Oh, look, there I am. Hello, welcome. Hello, Good welcome. Good Be quiet. Um, one moment, one moment. Let's do this, click some buttons. Oh, there I am, okay. Tusker, part one. Hey, hey, Denier, welcome. Getting flashbacks to La Mulana. And if we had to employ this state the same strategy once or twice.
Okay, it's right around here. So I go to the right. Oh, I think I got a game over there. Yeah, I got a mysterious game over and lost all my lives. I think it's like specific enemies just kill you. Just straight up kill you. They kill you so dead, your extra lives don't save you. Okay, okay, here we go. Let's listen to me. So here I have key number two. I stand right there. No, I shoot the gun. I always do that. Look at that, the gate opens. So you have to stand on the right edge of the gate and punch to the right. And maybe that will work. Maybe. Let's try it again. If it doesn't work this time, then we're going to have to start cheating. You heard me. We're going to start cheating if it doesn't work. By cheating, I mean probably set down a save state before trying to use the key. And then just using the key in all different positions. I'm going to try what I just watched. If that doesn't work, then we'll start cheating. Yeah, I shot first on accident. And then use the key facing the right, on the right side of the gate. So perhaps there was... I think it's just positioning. I think it's based on John Tusker's position. Unfortunately, it only takes, like, what? Half a second to get back there. It's a pretty short game. Okay, dodge the snakes. Tornado's not here. Oh, there's tornado. Oh, 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 oh. I almost got caught by the hand, so I had to slow down and take a hit. That's fine. It's totally fine. There's flask. Okay. Plug that guy. Try and pull these guys. These guys take literally, I think, 10 shots each. So it's not worth trying to kill them. That's why I'm doing this strategy here. Okay, we got one to contend with, which I think is doable. Okay. Okay. Eh, that's fine. Get the medicine. Or that's not medicine, that's acid. Do not take acid as medicine. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Punch the chest, get the book. Gotta follow a very specific path through the water. Like that. I can hold right. Get the turds. Or the book. Get the machete. Switch to dagger and flask. Go refill the water. On to the next stage. This whole game is made up of just barely not being something else. 
<laughs> John Tusker here is just barely not Indiana Jones. I don't know if I'm familiar with the pomp and circumstance, the musical music. The song's just barely not that. Go. Also welcome Slippery Elm. Switch to disc two. Let's try this again. I should have pulled the gun out. I always forget to equip myself with a gun before transitioning to the next stage. You know, these things happen. Gun. Okay, monkey. So we gotta move down. Ooh, that was perfect. Because the big dudes got stuck. These big dudes are like the coolest enemy I've ever seen in a video game. Okay. Get the turds. Perfect. And I love how the big dudes have just tiny little skeletons inside them. <laughs> it's highly amusing. Ba -ba. Uh, acid. I don't want- Ooh, Generated. Just slight generation. Getting, getting enveloped in cords over here, just off, off, off camera. Okay, this is fine. This is kind of like the monsters, but just different enough. It might be even more like the monsters than I think. I might have to resort to cheating. Which is the most monsters thing possible. Come on. I need to plug this dude. Plug! Yeah, I bet a speed run of this game would be like... I don't know. Ten minutes, maybe? <laughs> it's a super short game. Well, I don't know how much be is beyond this stage, so I shouldn't say that. A little bit premature in my estimation. Ah, uh, switch to Flask. I just get the feeling it's a very short game, as evidenced by the first two stages. Uh, drink, drink, drink! Oh, watch out! Okay, I just had a close encounter with the uh, beak of a pterodactyl. Because I can't. Oh, I don't even have the flask. I picked up the. The little turd pellets, they overwrote the flask. Well, that was a, a blunder. Okay, so we move on to this screen. J. Pull out the stick. Oh, get rid of the stick. Perfect. Uh, switch off the gun. Key. Punch the door. Do. Do 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 do. Here we go. The moment of truth. Please, Yeti. No punching. This music is so good. So I'm assuming I just need to stand right here, face this direction, and punch. 
Oh, yes. We have narrowly avoided needing to cheat. It's a glorious day. Oh, oh, oh. Murder them all. Um, I'm trying to think what's around me. To the right is a bunch of spear throwers. We're going to go to the left first because there's a second magic stick. I think it's in here. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. And that recharges my magic all the way up to full. Going down exits the village. Going down from that hut exits the village. Do, 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 bow, 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 bow. So with the double stick, I can move on to the screen to the right here. I'm not really sure what's happening, but sure. And that gives us the pocket watch. I need another key for that hut. I don't have the key. So now we go into the main hut here. And this is where things get a little dangerous again. Not here. The next screen has the witch doctor. So this one we have to use the magic to navigate. Good, good. Switch out of the magic. And now there's two screens here I don't know what to do. We have this screen with like a sick man. I'm assuming I need to use medicine to heal him. I don't have medicine. I mean, I have a stick in my possession. Maybe stick is medicine. But I can't like use it. I can't like put it in the pot here. I can't, oh, I, I, I can't shoot the sick man. That's a massive mistake. Read the book to him. 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 Read the book. I'm not going to give him acid. Maybe he wants turds. I think I have to do something with this sick man. Mix up some potion in this pot. Water. Do you want water? Do you want time? Are you out of time? Sir, do you need more time? I have this pocket. Oh! He needed more time. <laughs> what? Uh, he's still alive. Or he's still sick. Uh, do you need this pendant? <laughs> he needs the pendant. What's, what's happening? Do you need gun? Do you need a machete? Do you need book? Do you need knife? Do you need acid? Do you need bullets? Do you need turds? Water. Torch. Stick. Stick. Matches. Gun. Okay. Um, this screen I haven't done anything in, but let's go refill our water. So get the knife or get the dagger out. Equip the stick to run past here. This screen I haven't done anything with either. Ooh, I almost got stabbed. Doodaloo, do do. Boo, 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 boo. Boo. Doodaloo, do do. I don't need the dagger because we're not stabbing cacti. Doodaloo, do do. Boo, 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 boo. Boo, boo. Boo, 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 boo. I hope I can make it here without losing a life. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Whew. That was close. So I used, what, the medallion? I used the amulet on the sick man. And I used the watch on the sick man. What else could he... I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I tried all my other items, none of them worked. The witch doctor was still trying to attack me. I don't have any uh, keys. 
Put the stick. Got to burn the got to burn the straw man. I don't know how you're supposed to do that without dying, but now we have key 3. Um okay. Stick. Oh, munched. Okay, fine. Um will key 3 open up this? Oh, I can't. I gotta punch the door to open it. These must be bottle pills. Bottle pills, yep. This must be what the sick man actually needs. What's what's happening? What is this game? Let's get out of here. It's gotta be my key to the next stage. Oh, chomped. Unavoidable damage. Almost. Bye. So he needed the amulet, the watch, and the bottle of pills. How does... Why, why not just the bottle of pills? Or did I waste my other items? I'm so concerned. Oh no. What? Congratulations, you found the elephant's graveyard. Did I did 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 I win? Is that is that it? Is I'm so confused. <laughs> it, it, a black screen. Uh. Oh. Oh. Okay. I. I guess that's good game. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I guess that's Tusker. <laughs> I was just about to look at that MP. Does. <laughs> All right. There's Tusker, everybody. Wow. Uh, a little anticlimactic. We didn't even get to see a picture of the elephant graveyard. And the screen is just black. I think the Amiga is totally frozen. But I guess I guess that's the end of Tusker. All right. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Game's incredible. Wow. Well, Tusker. There it is. Thank you for the GGs. The confused GGs, everybody. Um... I guess that's it. Hey, Steelnet, welcome. Hefe, if I did say it, welcome. Shuttle word. Grim, good to see everybody. Uh, I, I, I guess <laughs> I, I'm a little confused, but okay, we're done. We beat Tusker up, apparently.
Uh, what's next? I I was very anticlimactic and unexpected. Um, so we're not gonna play C64 Tusker just yet. I do want to play the Commodore 64 version of Tusker, but it's not gonna be just yet. Um, I have to find Abracadabra Criminal. No, not yet. That will deserve its own special stream, but that's going to be very soon. Uh, we're going to stick with the Amiga real quick. We're going to play another game. I'm just going to move on. Yeah, we don't ever have to speak of Tusker again. <laughs> wow, what a treat. What a treat that was. Where, where did I put it? Um, bear with me one moment. I'm trying to find where I 